Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Joanna. Hello, Jeff. Sorry. Hi. Sorry that I was finishing with the previous group, but I am here, right? Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the day before the last one. We have been together for 15 days now. I hope you had a beautiful weekend, people. What did you do? ¿Qué hicieron en su fin de semana? Pues yo... La verdad... Oh. <laughs> Nothing. <I'm the> beach. <laughs> you went to the I'm beach. Ah, oh, so fantastic. <laughs> You went to the beach. Which yeah. beach did you go to? ¿A cuál fuiste? Al, uh, sí, al espino. Oh, nice. In La Unión, right? Beautiful. Yeah, it's, but it's in the in that part of the country. Uy. Okay, so nice that you went to the beach, right? Okay, Eli says that he is going on his way home. And okay, excellent. So fantastic that Joanna went to the beach. What about Ruth, Carlos, Marvin? What did you do? What did you do on your weekend? Uh -huh. ¿Qué hicieron? Cuenten. My weekend was wonderful. I spent my time in in very much uh, uh, homework no tareas del hogar no sé cómo se dice housework housework okay you were doing housework very good so that is so fantastic that you had the chance to actually do things at home right in many cases, it is good to take some time to do things at home, right? For you to clean the house, for you to do the bed, for you to clean up a little bit, right? It always helps that you take some time for you to do things at home. What about uh, the rest of you? I have Ruth, I have Marvin, I have Janet. What did you do on your weekend? Ajá. ¿Qué hicieron? Cuenten. Or nothing. You didn't do anything. O no hicieron nada en el fin de semana. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello. I, I watched uh, in my weekend. Ajá. Uh -huh. I, I watch TV how Argentina is champion. Exactly. That's what I was waiting for. Someone who watched the game, right? I guess that all the ones that are with Argentina are very happy because of that, right? Yes. Oh, all, all, the world. all the world. Very all happy. the world. All the world was very happy because of the winning of Argentina on the World Cup. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. And congratulations. Yeah. I can see <laughs> that you like soccer, right? That you like football a lot. Well, so on my weekend, I was working. I was uh, reading. I was studying, right? And for sure, I was preparing for... Uh, 
for your classes, right? I was preparing for uh, working with you here. So it was a very good weekend, right? I was remembering about you and I was thinking about our last uh, get together, right? Our last practice here. So we are going to work. I told you, and I remember that we were working on this one. Let me share my screen. Esto estuvimos trabajando on the previous class, right? We were talking about Kelly, Robert, and Eddie. They were talking about the different weekends that they had. And we said that we were going to practice a little bit of this, right? We have Kelly, Robert, and Eddie. And I was asking you the question today, how was your weekend? Because these three friends have different weekends. Do you remember something about this? ¿Se recuerdan algo de lo que estuvimos leyendo en estas tres lecturas el viernes antes de irnos a vacacionar el fin de semana? Do you remember a little bit of this? Kelly, Robert, and Eric. Yeah. Uh -huh. I know, teacher. Uh, I know, I know, I know. I know que no se acuerda. Eh, de la que se casó la. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ah, but because you are reading. Ay, <laughs> teacher, yo. una ceremonia. Exactly that she that she, that her friend got married. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That the other ones went to a concert. And what else did they do? Concert. Uh, and the other ones went camping, and they learned how mm -hmm. to fish and everything, right? Okay, who was fighting for the? For the enlace that they say no me sirve el enlace dijo alguien ahí en el chat okay let me send it here okay desde la confirmación okay vamos a ayudarle a su amiga aquí en in need give me a second so uh, we have Kelly, Robert, and what is the last name? Eric. I am going to ask Liana. Oh, Leah, were you were you fighting with the enlace? A ti no te abrió el enlace, Liana? Sí, a mí era. Ah, ya pues ya ya mandártelo ya. Gracias. Okay, good. Okay, Liana, can you help me to read about Kelly? To read the paragraph? Yes, about Kelly. Kelly, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend, Helen, Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her. And I really like her husband. Okay, her husband, her husband. husband. And her, uh, she, uh, you say like her parents, right? Parents, her parents. parents. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Thank you very much. Juan Carlos, hello. Help me to read about Robert. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I had an awful weekend. My friend and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at, at all. And after the concert ended, our car bro broke, da broke down. I called my parents and they came and gorgeous. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Okay. I called my parents. You say I called my parents. 
And they mm -hmm. came and got us. Got us, right? And got us. Got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired, right? I am so tired. And let's see. I am going to ask uh, Anna Elizabeth. Can you help me with adding, please? Okay. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We we left on Saturday and drove to the cam cam campsite campsite campsite. campsite. Yes. First, we put up the tent. Then we build a fire, cook a dinner, cook cook a, cook dinner, cook dinner, and tell a uh, is a Sto stories stories stories. <laughs> we get up early on Sunday and we went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. A lot. I I really did. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Thank you very much, Anna, and thank you to all my readers, to Juan and to Liana for helping me. So it was just kind of a refresh, a little bit. So I have here a couple of questions. Helen got married in a church, yes or no? Where did she got married? Do you remember? Where did she get married? Yeah. She got married in a church. Uh -huh. no. At no. home. She got married. She at got home. married at home, right? She got married at home. Now, after the wedding, everyone went to a restaurant to eat. After the wedding, everyone went to a restaurant to eat. No. What happened after the wedding? Her parents served a wonderful meal. Her parents served a wonderful meal, right? Anybody went to a restaurant to eat anything. Number four. Robert went to a rock concert with his parents. No. No. Who did he go with? Let me just stop sharing and I will share again. Okay. Porque Ale creo que no puede ver la pantalla. Okay. Me avisan si todos pueden ver la pantalla, chicos. Hoy sí, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, Robert went to a rock concert with his parents. No. With his, with his yeah. friends. Eric, friends. Uh, Eric. Eh, Robert went to a concert with his friends, right? With his friends. What about the next one? It took three hours to get home after the concert. Yes. Yes. Three hours, right? And it says, wait, 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 the question. It took three hours to get home after the concert. Yes. Are you no. sure? No. No, no. It, it took three took hours? Three hours to drive there, to the drive. concert. Exactly, to drive to the concert, right? Very good job. Let's go to the next question. Robert got home at 10 o'clock last night. No. No. His car broke down. Mm -hmm. And it says, okay, the question is, Eric, uh, sorry, Robert got home at 10 o'clock last night. Robert got home at 10 the no. next day. <laughs> This morning, right? This morning, he got he got home in the morning, right? Very good. In the morning. In the morning. The next question. 
Erin goes camping every weekend. She goes camping every weekend. No, for the first time. Exactly. It was for the first when time. Camping for the first time. She went camping for the first time. What about the next one? Eric, Erin and her, and her friends went fishing on Saturday. We left on Saturday. Uh -huh. We left on Saturday. They drove to the campsite. We left. When did they go fishing? Saturday. No. No, on Sunday. They went fishing on Sunday. On Sunday, very good. On Sunday. And the last one. Erin like camping a lot. I she didn't liked... really like camping. Aha. Uh -huh. like... I like it. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Okay, so she didn't really like it that much. Oh, shit. But she learned a lot, right? It's like, no mucho me gustó, pero eh, el aprendizaje, right? Es lo importante. <laughs> right? The experience, you say. It's important, right? But she didn't really like it that much. Thank you very much for the answers. Okay, my dear class. We are going to practice a little bit on the conversation uh, using was and were in past tense. We have been studying a lot the past tense, right? Hemos estado estudiando el past tense a lot. Affirmative, negatives, interrogatives, regular, irregular, right? We have studied the past a lot. We have made questions and uh, for sure we did the practice of the reading, but in this one we are going to focus a little bit more on practicing was and were, right? Esa sería la forma pasada de is y are, okay? Como los ejemplos que tenemos. I am a teacher. I was a teacher. She is my friend. She was my friend. They are my relatives. They were my relatives. Okay. The past forms of is and are are was and were. And in these ones, we have a specific forms. We have is and we have are. For is, for sure, in the negative form, present simple, isn't. you say isn't. And this one is aren't, aren't. Right? These are for the present forms, right? And you can say, she is my teacher, okay, my teacher. And on Monday, you are going to say el otro lunes van a andar diciendo, ah, she was my she teacher. Was. She was my teacher. Ah, la teacher no decía, yeah, she was my teacher. Tiempo pasado, ya lo olvidé. Okay. If it is plural, I am going to move this one here. If it is plural, you say, they are my friends. Ellos son mis amigos. Y si, ojalá, si no nos borran del chat de WhatsApp, si no van a decir, ah, they were my friends. Borrados para Navidad. Yo, feliz Navidad, niño. ¿Quién es? Me van a poner. Eh, eliminada from the chat. In the negatives, in the past, you say, you don't say isn't, you say wasn't. Right? In this case, you say, she was my teacher. No, she wasn't my teacher. They were friends. No, they weren't friends. Right? So there you have the past tense forms. In this case, you don't use the auxiliary did. ¿Por qué no ocupamos el auxiliar did? A ver. ¿quién? Ajá, porque no tenemos otro verbo. Was and where son el verbo. No podemos decir, I did was, I did where. No, porque estaríamos ocupando doble verbo. And that's not possible, right? Was and were are specific forms. 
for you to transform simple present tenses like is and are into the past, okay? Después de esta breve explicación, I am going to go to the conversation, okay? I went. When you say, I was born in Korea, this is a, uh, a sentence using was or where. Teacher. Yes. Born is ser. Ajá. Pero cuando decimos, I was born, en este caso, estas dos juntas, yeah. es yo nací. Pero born mm -hmm. eh, es, yeah, es un it, verbo. Yes. No, no, no. Eh, in this case, cuando decimos, I was born, it's like what you say, like, eh, if you translate that into Spanish, si, de, si lo traduce así literal como está, sería, yo fui nacido en Corea. But this, the verb in this case is complemented, que okay, aquí se complementan los dos verbos, I was born, it's yo nací en Corea. Uh, okay, okay, o sea que el was y el were, eh, sí se pueden complementar con un verbo. Ajá, but in this case, eh, born, it is not using the form of the verb. It is complementing the information, right? I was born in Korea. Right? Este totalmente junto es el verbo, was born. Para okay. esta frase, estos dos juntos forman este verbo. Estos dos son el verbo aquí. I was born. Where were you verbo. born, you say? El born se puede utilizar en otras oraciones sin necesidad que vaya con el was. Yes, but in most of the cases, so you say, for example, here. Eh, Imagine if you are using, uh, no, about a third person, you're going to use it there. Uh, nací. No, nací. Sí, di, eh, digamos en futuro, eh, mi hija va a nacer, un ejemplo. Ah, so you say, she will. Born. She will born. She will born. In July. Okay. Right? She will born in July. Okay. She will born in July. You can use it like that. But in this case, it is also complemented. Right? Okay. El will born. Va a nacer. Nació. Okay. Right? Nací. It is complemented. Right? But you can use it. Right? You can use it like this. In, in future, for example. And here you have another example <clears throat> of the same sentence. And let me make it a little bit bigger for you to see. Where were you born, Melissa? Where were you born? Where were you born? What is the meaning of this? Donde naciste? Where no were you born? Because if you use where and where, this is where the donde. And this is the verb, right? Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea, right? If I ask you people, where were you born? No me digan en el hospital, please. Where were you born? In Santa Ana, in Sonsonate, San Miguel, San Salvador. Where were you born? In San Michael. In San Michael. In San Miguel, right? You say, I was born in San Miguel. Where were you born, people? Tell me the rest of you. I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador, right? <laughs> Odilia, where were you born? born? Uh -huh. I was born in Morazan. In Morazan, right? Hello, Odilia, where were you born? <laughs> Odilia. Ahí está. Yo dije Odilia. Where were you born, teacher? Aquí Me. Soy teacher. Ah, okay. Yo dije, allá Estoy va. Ah, ok. Estoy escuchando. Yo vi un muchacho que llevó el teléfono y dije, ok. Se llevó el teléfono. Te lo llevo con todo y clase. Dije. No, 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 no. Yo la estoy escuchando. Ok. Where were you born? ¿Dónde naciste? Where were you born? San Salvador. In San Salvador. I was born in Santa Ana. 
I was born in Santa Ana. Arabella, where were you born? I, I was born, born in San Salvador. In San Salvador. Okay. Someone who was born in Santa Ana as me, no? ¿Quién más nació en Santa Ana? Solo yo. Eli, ¿cómo que? Ah, Eli, Eli, yes, true, Eli, but I know, but Eli is, is in, in, he's walking home, él va camino a casa todavía, okay, let's see, I saw Claudita connected, Claudita, where were you born? Claudita, veo una sombra negra y nada más, okay, so it says like, I was born in Korea, oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. Así que no naciste en Estados Unidos. It's like, no, I came here in 1999. Yo vine en el 99. Hmm, you were pretty young. It's like, yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? Fuiste a la universidad o al bachillerato de un solo? It's no, my English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. And yeah, but I was born here, he says. Yeah, but I was born here. So in this case, the conversation is between Chuck and Melissa. Let's see. Practice with me. Where were you born, Melissa? Where were Where you, were born, you born, born, Melissa? Where were you born, Melissa? Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? Oh, so you weren't born, born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. No, I can't. Mm, you were pretty young. Mm, you were you very young. Pretty, young. pretty young. Pretty young. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Yes, yes. I, was I was only 17. 17. Did you go to college right away? Did you go to, to college right away? Um, no, my English wasn't very good. No, no, no my, my English, English wasn't, wasn't very good. good. So, I so I took English classes for two years. So, so I, I took English classes, English classes, classes for, for two, two years. 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 Yes. Okay, so you say, no, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. No, no, no. My, English my English was, was very good. Very good. So my English was English very good. So I took English, English, English class for two years first. I took English classes. I took English, English classes for two years first. For two years first. For two years first. First, first. 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 Well, your English is really good now. Well, well English, is English is really good now. now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Thanks, Thanks. your English, English is pretty good, good too. Yeah, but I wasn't, but I was born here. Yeah, yeah but I, I was born here. here. But I was here. born here. Okay, and now the conversation continues, right? Let me just find the second part of the conversation. Okay, so here it says, so Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up. Where did you grow up? Okay. Where did you grow up? When you say, so, Chuck, where did you grow up? So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. I grew, I grew up, up in Texas. Texas. I was born there too. 
Okay. And when did you come to Los Angeles? And, and when, when did, did you come, come to, to, Los to Los Angeles? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. In 1990. In 1990. In 1990. I went to college here. I, I went, went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Oh, oh what, what was your major? major? Drama. 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 I was an actor for five years after college. I was a natto for five years after college. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? So why did you, why did you become a hairstylist? Hairstylist. 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 Because I needed the money. Because, because I needed the money. And I love it. And I love, I love, it. love it. Look. 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 What do you think? What do, you think? Think? what do you think? What, what do, do you, you think? think? Well, uh, well, uh, uh, look at uh, look at the style. Look at the style that she got. She got a very beautiful hairstyle. <laughs> Thank you very much, right? Espégueme el pelo de nuevo, right? Because I needed the money. It says, because I needed the money. And I love it. Ahorita. Right. Así está la niña. Claudia, ahorita arreglándola. Yeah. Love Poor Claudia, right? She, she might be ah, helping her. Okay. So I am going to play the complete conversation here. And here we have the two parts. Right? We have the two parts of the conversation here. Here, the conversation starts. Look at the beautiful hair that Melissa has, right? Miren que linda estaba Melissa en este momento. Beautiful hair. And then, mm. and then <laughs> Chuck attack and look at her, right? Poor, poor Melissa with this horrible hair that she got. Okay, I am going to take the two parts of the conversation. Very good. I am going to send you the conversation in the chat for you to have it complete. Okay, so based on this, we have the different grammar parts of the conversation. And in this case, we have the use of was and were, right? Let's see. Joanna, can you help me to read the first examples of was and were? This one. I was, I was born in Korea. I was born you in Korea. Were, huh? You were, you were very young. Pretty, pretty young. Pretty, pretty, pretty young. She was 17. We were born in the same year. We were they born, uh-huh. They were? They were in Korea in Night. 19, 19, 1998. Okay, very good job. Let me share. Sure. Yes. ¿Qué significa? What is the meaning in Spanish? She wasn't in college. Okay, she wasn't in college. No estaba en la universidad. Okay. Right, she ah. wasn't in college. Right, ella no estaba en la universidad. Let me just send you the conversation, right? The complete conversation. Give me a second. Here you go. I already sent you the first part and I am going to send you the second part because we will use it, okay? There you go. You have the complete conversation on your chat. So let's continue here on the sentences that you have here. I was born in Korea, right? You were pretty young. She was 17. We were born in the same year. They were in Korea in 1998, right? In this case, we say like they were in Korea in 1998. Ellos estuvieron en Corea, right? 
I wasn't born in the U.S. Yo no nací en Estados Unidos, right? You weren't very old. Tú no estabas tan viejo, right? She wasn't in college. Ella no estaba en la universidad. We weren't born in the same country. No nacimos en el mismo país. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Ellos no estaban en Estados Unidos en, en 1998. In this case, remember that you use was for I, he, she, and it. And where is for you, we, they, okay? It's for plural forms. So based on these ones, we are going to create this little example. In this case, we have my family and I. My family and I is two people, plural. My family you. and I, where, right? Where? You don't say my family and I was because you have two people or born in Korea. We weren't, weren't. okay. We weren't born in the US. I was, was. I was, yeah. I was born in the city of Incan. And my brother, he, my brother, Were. Were. my brother is was. he. Was. Okay. Was. My brother was born there too. My parents, mom and dad, were, weren't. weren't born in Incan. They were, were. They were, were born in the were. capital, Seoul. Okay, so in this case, remember, you have we, it's a plural form. You use we, weren't. I, singular, was. My brother, he, was. My parents, mom and dad, two people, weren't. And they, plural, were. Okay, let's do another example. I have another example here. I have here examples of questions. The questions are the same form. If you have you, we, they in the questions, it is with where. If you have was, you have for he, she, it, and I. Okay, in this case, the questions that we have. Alejandro, can you help me to read the first question? Were you born in the U.S.? In the U.S.? Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. Yes, no, I, I was wasn't. or no, I wasn't. And let's see. Liana, help me the next question. Here. Was your brother born in 1984? In 1984, right? 1984. 1984. Yes, he was. Yes, no, he, he wasn't. Was. Was. Juan Carlos, help me to read the next question. Uh, where your parents? Where your parents? Parents. Born, parents. Pa parents. Yes. Where your parents born in? Uh, Income. In Income. 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 Yes. Yes, they were. No, they no, weren't. They weren't. Very good. And the next example, we have uh, Carlos Alberto. Help me with the next example. It's this one. Where, where were you born? Where were you born? Right? Donde naciste? I was born in. I, I was born in. San Salvador. In San Salvador, <laughs> very good job. Arabella, the next one. Okay, uh, when was he born? When was he born? He was born in? In 1985. 85, very good. And the last one, uh, Janet, please. What city were they born in? They what? were born in. Okay, what city were they born in? It was a little what bit complicated. City were they born in? Very good. They were born they, in Seoul. They were born in Seoul. Okay. What is the difference between these two questions, people? ¿Qué diferencia les ven a estas dos preguntas? Ya se las he explicado antes. What is the difference between? Between. Teacher, una consulta. Yep. Where? Uh, what the city were in the born? ¿Qué significa? What city were they born in? Born in. 
Si la respuesta es, ellos nacieron eh, en Seoul. ¿Qué ciudad? ¿En qué ciudad viven? No. What city nacieron. were they born in? ¿En qué ciudad nacieron? ¿En qué ciudad nacieron? Because I can say that I was born in Santa Ana, but I was born in Chalchuapa, for example. Okay. What city of Santa Ana were they born in? Okay. So, but what is the difference between these two blocks of questions? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre estos dos bloques de preguntas? No questions. La otra es de un solo la respuesta con el was y el where. Very good. Open question and information questions. I love it. W -H, w H questions are information questions, right? It is not the same that I ask you, eh, were you born in El Salvador? And they say, yes, teacher. But if I say, where were you born? Okay, naciste en El Salvador? Sí, pero a donde naciste? Ah, I was born in San Salvador, teacher. And if I say, for example, eh, was your mother born in 19... 55 or when was your mother born right were your parents born in income like nacieron en santa tecla en santa ana no what city were they born in these are more ex they are more specific right because we have information questions with wh okay so that is the difference i have here a short example on this one in this one, I have here the questions, but first I have a short explanation of the years, okay? Si se fijan, aquí arribita también tengo una explicación chiquita acerca de los años. The years, you have to cut them to explain them. It is very common that you say the first two, right? Que los cortemos, pero a partir del 2000 ya no. 1906, 1917, 1999. And then from 2000, you say 2001, 2002, 2003, 2022. 2000. And you don't change them. 2000. So with the years, you have to be very specific, right? And here we have a short example. This one is yes, no, or information question. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Were you born in this city? Were you born in this city? Yes, yes I was. No, I wasn't. Right? If I have this one, when, when, you were, when were you born? This is information question. Where? Where, 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 where your parents where, born? Your parents born. Parents, parents. Parents. When your mother was was, when was, was when your was mother? Born. What about the next one? When when, when was when was your father born. born? What about you and your family in this city last year? What? What? You and your family. You was. Where? Where? Where, right? Where? Because it's you and your family, plural. Where you and your family in this city last year? You at this school last year? Where? 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 Because it's you, right? You, it's with uh, where? Who your what? first English teacher? What? What? Who was your first English teacher, people? Who was? Who was your first English teacher? Silvia. Aha, uh -huh. vamos a ver quién fue la primera maestra. Aha. Teacher. Teacher. What teacher? What teacher? Silvia. Teacher Silvia. Teacher Silvia, right? Well, for the ones who started with me, it was like me. Uh, teacher. Teacher Nati. Teacher Nati, I was your third teacher. What nationality was 
No, was your first English teacher, right? What nationality was your first English teacher? And what was, was. he or she like? ¿Cómo era ella? What was he or she like? And here you have the different questions, right? In this case, we have yes, no. We have here information, 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 yes, no, yes, no, information, 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 right? You have to be very careful with this. If I ask you, for example, were you at Inglés Corporativo last year? Were you at Inglés Corporativo last year? ¿Estaban en Inglés Corporativo el año pasado? No. 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 So, no. I wasn't. I wasn't. So you say, no, I wasn't, right? No, yo no estaba. And if you ask me, were you at Inglés Corporativo last year? Yes, I was. Okay? Yes, I was. In my case, yes. Yo ya estaba aquí. Let's see. If I say, huh, what was your first English teacher like? What was your first English teacher like? Y me contestarían a la última pregunta. What was your first English teacher like? ¿Cómo era she, ella? She is. She was. She was. She was friendly. She was friendly. <laughs> yeah, she was. Um... She, she was, was happy. Beautiful. She, she was, was beautiful. She was happy. She was friendly, right? Yeah. Interesting. She was interesting, right? She was interesting. So that's the form of answering this type of questions, right? So I have here the following example. In this one, we have the information questions a little bit more in deep, right? Tenemos un poquito más de explicación de las WH questions. Before doing this, this exercise, I will call the attendance, right? Antes de que nada pase, les voy a pasar lista. Antes de que se me olvide. Yes, before we forget. Okay. And for sure, so we can finish with the last exercise. Así podemos terminar con ese último ejercicio. And here you go. Okay. Alejandro Jovel. Present teacher. Ana Elizabeth. Present. Arabella. Presente teacher. Carlos Alberto. Here teacher. Carmen Vanessa. Claudia Iris. No, oh, Claudita is here. Denis Eliseo. Present teacher. Eli Antonio is here. Eneida Verónica. Present teacher. Janet. Present teacher. Jennifer. Jennifer Alexandra. In the chat. Oh, I she's like... in the chat. Thank you very much. Joanna Damaris. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present. Liana. Present teacher. Lorena. Sí. Lorena está ahí. Marvin. Present teacher. Odilia. Present teacher. Raúl. Raúl Antonio. Veamos, veamos. Raúlito, hoy no le he escuchado, Raúlito. Ah, pues no está. That's why. Ruth Marielas. She was having issues with the microphone. Sandra Georgina. And Silvia Lisset. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for answering. Okay. Yeah, Odilia is on her bike. She's very, very. I see. I get a lot of me. <laughs> no, but we're about to finish. And then siete. Siete, ocho minutos la dejo ir a dormir. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, let's finish this exercise. Let's finish this example. Arabella nos carga paseando. No sé dónde andamos. 
<risa> Comprando unos churros andamos, quizás, vea. No. No. Voy a bien. comprar la comida para el 24. Ah, ok. <risa> ok, so, thank you very much. But thank you for being here. No importa si andamos caminando, si andan ocupados. Connect people. Thank you very much. And here we have, when did you grow up? Is it like that? Así dice. Where, right? It says where. Where did you grow up? ¿Dónde creciste? I grew up in, I grew up in, Tokyo. in Texas. In Texas. I grew up in Chalchuapa. When did you come to Los Angeles? ¿Cuándo veniste? ¿Cuándo llegaste a Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Right? I came to Los eh, Angeles. Yep. Eh, se pronuncia igual. Grew out. Y en el otro no es grew out. No. No, 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 no. This is grow. Grow. Grow out. Where did you grow up? Grow up. And this one is grow. I grew up. I grew, ah, okay. I grew, I grew up. up. Okay. Grew, como yo soy grew. <laughs> That's another thing. Okay, I grew up in Texas. When did up. you come to your, to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? ¿Cuántos años tenías en el 90? How old were you in 1990? <laughs> How old were you in 1990, people? Ni habían nacido, quizá. No había nacido. I was, I was, uh, I, was I was four. Four. You were four yeah. years old. How yes. beautiful. Uh -huh. How, what was your major in college? De que te graduaste en la universidad. What was your major in college? My no, major. No, no was English. What about you, Joanna? No, no, I'm not studying. No, you haven't studied. No, but entonces no he estudiado aún, dígame, mm -hmm. porque la vida no se ha acabado. I haven't started, you say. What was your major in college, people? ¿Qué sacaron en la universidad? ¿Qué estudiaron? ¿O qué están estudiando? I was It was so you say uh, it was uh, it was a study uh, system engineer systems engineering okay cool finish finish studying okay que nadie le diga que no pueden terminar you can yeah. finish okay you can finish don't do it for anybody no lo hagan por nadie hágalo por ustedes que si no estudió licenciatura da, Technical, a technical yeah. career. It's okay, right? It was, it was economy. 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 Okay. But, you, uh -huh. but I, but I didn't finish. Okay, I haven't. You say, dígame que no ha terminado. I haven't finished. I, I haven't. Uh -huh. Porque si me dice I didn't, es que ya nunca va a terminar. I haven't finished. Quien quita en la vida lo terminemos, right? I haven't finished. Now you study, study cook. <laughs> now you're studying cooking. Yeah, but that is a very good major. It gives a lot of money. <laughs> How yes. was college? ¿Cómo fue la universidad? It was difficult for me, <laughs> but it was nice. I loved very it. Difficult. It was and very, very difficult. difficult uh, university. Yes. And for me, it was very difficult. It was very complicated. Because I was working and studying and working and studying. So it was complicated. But how eh, it's better if we go and do some practice. I have here questions and answers. I need you to write on your notebook. Number one, C. Number two, B. Number three, F. And later we are going to write down the examples. Okay. Here we have number one. We have number one here, that is, when and where were you born? And this is letter C. I was born in 1983 in yep. Hiroshima, Japan, right? 
I need you to write the other ones, okay? Escriban las siguientes. What is the answer for number two, for number three, four, five, six, seven, and eight? According to the letters that we have here, okay? Analyze it and make the match. Hagan el match y ya las vamos a revisar todas. Go ahead. Work on that. Okay, let me know when you have the answer for number two. What is the answer for number two? A. Where F. did you grow? F. I grew up. Where did you grow up? It is C. letter? I, guess I was F. born up. Letter, F. F. letter F. Letter F. Where did yes. you grow up? ¿Dónde creciste? I grew up. I grew up. I grew up. Wow. I grew up Tokyo. Tokyo. Okay. Very good. I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up in the Tokyo. In Tokyo, in Tokyo. In the Tokyo, in Tokyo. no. When did you start the school? Letter G. E. Letter G. G. I entered G. first grade in 1989. Letter G. How old were you then? I was six, right? How was your first day of school? H. Letter H, right? It was a little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Letter D. Letter C. Letter C. 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 Letter D, right? Letter D. Her name was Yumiko. And what was he or she like? Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. She was a little shy. And the last one. Why did you take this class? Letter E. Letter E. Letter e. My English wasn't very good, it says. My English wasn't very good. So, tell me, people, do you remember? Do you remember who was your first friend at school? ¿Se acuerdan quién fue su primer amigo en la escuela? Yes. What was his or her name? Uh-huh. Um, uh -huh. His name, um, if it is a boy, and her name, if it is a girl. Her name is Gabriela. 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 Cynthia. 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 So you say her Cynthia. name was Cynthia. Her name okay. was Cynthia. Okay. Good. Are you still friends? ¿Todavía son amigos con su primer amigo de la escuela? No. 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 Not anymore. Perdí contacto. Ay. Let's look for them on Facebook. Búsquenlos en Facebook <laughs> o en TikTok. ¿Quién quita y hicieron TikTok? <laughs> Imagínese hizo TikTok. <laughs> Do you remember how was your first day at Inglés Corporativo? Ruth says that her name is Regina and they are not friends anymore, they say. Oh. How was your first day at Inglés Corporativo? ¿Cómo fue su primer día en las clases de inglés? <laughs> Horrible, nice, fantastic, scary. Nervous. Nervous, right? You were nervous. really nervous. nervous. You were really nervous, right? So, I need you to remember a little bit on this one, right? Hoy lo voy a llevar a que recuerden un poquito de todo lo que pasó. And here we are going to mark out a little bit of this information. Your first day of classes here in English. What did you wear? Do you remember what were you wearing? ¿Qué se pusieron ese día? ¿Qué andaban puesto? Uh, 
were you early, late, or on time? Okay, where did you sit in this case? In the kitchen, in the living room. ¿Dónde se sentaron el primer día de clases? How did you feel? Who was the first person you talked to? ¿A quién fue el primero al que le hablaron aquí en clases? What did teacher Nati talk about? Who talked the most in that class? ¿Quién habló más en esa clase? ¿Quién no habló nada en esa clase? And how was your English then? And how is your English now? So these are some of the questions that you are going to prepare for I tomorrow. Okay. You are going, yeah, I will invite you to go and watch the video, right? Todos van a ir a ver la clase uno. Okay. So, y mañana la lista de reproducción como con 100 reproducciones. So, I send you the questions in the chat because I need you to write down the answers, okay? I need you to write down the answers because tomorrow we are going to remember how was your first day at school, okay? How was your first day here in English Corporativo? And we are going to review a little bit. You are going to talk about this, okay? Mañana vamos a trabajar en grupitos chiquitos y vamos a responder estas preguntas. Pero ya las tienen que traer respondidas porque no las van a estar creando en el momento, okay? Así que porfa, trabajen en las respuestas de esto porque nos van a servir para la clase del día de mañana. La clase del día de mañana es pura práctica de habla, así que van a hablar un montón. So, prepare your answers for tomorrow, my dear students. Have a wonderful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for our last class and our final practice, okay? Have a wonderful night, my dear class. Good night. Bye-bye. Thank you, Ruth. I hope we can listen to you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye.